It's going to be the uh, next lecture from Morton, now moving on from the theory to a method to help you overcome some of the fixation you may have experienced in the previous two exercises. Um, I think Morton's got a few exercises for you to run through in this actual uh, lecture period. Uh, so if you just use your own uh, notebooks rather than the, the big pieces of paper, and we'll all stay in this room until the next exercise uh, for your group work. Yeah. Uh, so, Morton, back yeah. over to you. Does everyone have something to write on that's not the big piece of paper? Just in the group? The group has to have something. Okay, uh, I hope that the, the last lecture really changed this session. <laughs> uh, but as I told you before, that we have this inhibiting system and we get fixated and it's difficult to think out of the box. So the idea now is that we are going to give you a tool that forces your brain to think completely different. Uh, and it's called getting bad ideas. So instead of getting good ideas, we're going to try to get really, really bad ones. Right? So, um, normally when we, yeah, you can read this, when we're trying to solve a problem, we think of a good idea, but now we have to think of bad ideas. And it's not as crazy as it sounds. There's an explanation behind it. Um, but the idea is now that in your group, I'm just going to give you three minutes, you have to come up with a really bad or really silly idea. And then you have to pick out three really bad ideas and we're going to give them to another group. So in group number one, we'll give their three bad ideas to group number two and then we we'll use the last 15 minutes on changing them into a good idea. All right? Does everyone understand the task? A bad idea could be a car with no engine, as Dix uses as an example, a car with square wheels or a dartboard, an inflatable dartboard, something really, really bad idea. Does everyone understand it? So if in your group, come up with three extremely bad or silly ideas that the next group has to solve. Have fun. Creativity should be fun. <laughs> yeah, and you have to write them down so you can give them uh, to the next group. Go. <laughs> so, spaceship. A magazine without any uh, content. A lot of pages, but uh, nothing on the blank pages. Sorry. Red <laughs> <laughs> magazine for blind people. Yeah. <laughs> Very tall house for disabled people. A tall house that is not uh, touching the ground. And no uh, elevators or yeah. stairs, so you cannot get into it. Flying machine without wings. <laughs> it's just a rocket. Does everyone have three ideas? So then you have to hurry up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, four. Yeah. <laughs> we can't move. Look at the tail. The tail is two Hi, Slade. Hi, Slade. That's actually impossible. If you put in enough enough space, they can feel it. Okay. 
Og det er ikke ham der, hvilken musiker var det, der var død? Beethoven. Beethoven, he, he became deaf. So he was... He was still wrote what some of his best works while he was actually still deaf. He was already deaf. Yeah. Oh, you can have five. Okay. Just give the three words. Det er også sindssygt her. Det kan man kalde talent, ikke? Og indsigt. How many is left who doesn't have three bad ideas? Yeah. Everyone has three? Skating. Yeah. Then uh, give your paper with your three bad ideas to a different group. It doesn't matter which one, as long as no one is sitting with their own ideas. So this change with someone? You want to exchange? Yeah, yes. Actually, we have six. We can choose the two. You uh, yeah, we, uh, we also have more, but we chose. Does everyone uh, have uh, new bad ideas? Hamster dream. Yes. How many is uh, listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> Attention, guys. <laughs> All right. So the task now you have your three bad ideas. The task is now to analyze them. So first you go through. What is bad about the idea? Why? And the important question is why is this a bad thing? Whatever it is in the idea. And then try to think, can you think of anything that shares this feature but in a good way? And if so, what is the difference? Then afterwards you take the good, what is good about the idea, and why is that a good thing? In the same way. Can you say anything that shares this feature in a bad way? If so, what is the difference? And now the clever, which is your real task, is for each idea, consider carefully how can you remove or modify the bad elements so it only good features remain. So your task is to convert your bad ideas into a really good idea. So just take one, pick out one of them, try, try to go through this, you don't have to do it step by step, but your task is to take the idea and change it into a really good idea. Any questions to the task? No. No? Then uh, get started. Invisible ink for blackboards. What is an ink? Uh, Leg. Leg. Oh, okay. Um, Hamster-driven uh, generator is a bad idea because uh, hamster is not generating that much energy. Yeah. But if you make like I'm in the matrix with hamsters, you know. It's a lot of. Yeah. In small cubes, and they waddle around and think they're alive because you top, what's it called, tap into their brain and tell them to do stuff, and then they do a lot of time, and then you use hamsters and batteries. Yeah. Hamster battery. <laughs> I think it's still a pretty bad idea. Cigarettes are chills, and that, that's obvious because it's unhealthy to, unhealthy to, to smoke and yeah. also illegal and it's all legal yeah. but if you make cigarettes for children and make them uh, but it's still making people want them to smoke the, the bad habit again the bad habit so even though it's a uh, good label yeah but if you, if you make them healthy or something so they get the, it's a way to uh, make the insulin to get their medicine yeah they need something something Fake cigarettes with vitamins. Your house and go to make shopping. Yeah. I think these three ideas are all over bad, and not, there's not really a lot of future. Bicycle without pedals. Yeah. The good thing about this idea is that uh, we can actually get the um, energy out of uh, something. Our house creatures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we can just get uh, energy out of a uh, uh, valid source. You could make a. Uh, These uh, flying houses. You can make a hamster driven generator by by burning the hamster poop. Because they have both hay and the poop. So that would be could, excellent. But it could be useful if you, have, if you have some, some kind of. If you have a. Uh, a bicycle in your house, you know, uh, you know a stationary bicycle. Yeah. Instead of instead of all that energy which is going to waste, then hmm. maybe use that energy. Maybe if you have in fitness world or something. Yeah, yeah, they actually not. already tried that in California and it didn't generate nearly enough energy even to support the machines. Sorry. Eventually they don't. Okay, even to support them. Okay. But 
Do you mean that support their machine? That means that, I, that all the bicycles were electric. Yeah. So even though people were running them, they didn't generate enough just to run the, the bikes they were sitting on themselves. The bike they used yeah. is, it has an electric board that's still running. Okay. So okay. they yeah. didn't generate enough to run that. Okay. But what about if you use a dog instead? And make it large so that you don't have to walk your dog and then you can and yeah, horse. Like yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really large. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you go in this around meals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but intake and outtake of food is still horse. equal, so I don't think you get more energy out of a horse than you do from a hamster compared to what you need to invest in feeding them. No, but if you take into the assumption that people want to have a horse, or they want to have a hamster, or they want to yeah, have a dog. Yeah, but you don't want to walk your dog inside your own house. <laughs> well, in a, in a I, treadmill. I, I guess some would, but not all. <laughs> One day you're really lazy and yeah. sick and all those things, and oh, I just put it into the mill. <laughs> but it was also there yesterday. Yeah. Maybe the uh, a cigarette for children, maybe we can, uh, even in an early age, they will figure out that it's not, uh, uh, it's not taste good to smoke and they will be uh, scared away from it. Maybe you can make some cigarettes where they burn themselves. Yeah, so they actually make smoke. them cigarettes where, where, where they feel so bad after smoke, just one cigarette and they are yeah. doing the thing. I'll never do that again. Yeah. They, and they should say yeah, it's mild, like mild, <laughs> mild cigarettes for children, but yeah. they're just really heavy, so they will never smoke again. Yeah, that could be a good idea to make it so. So you could use it for education. Yeah, yeah. Make, 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 I think that's an all over bad idea. <laughs> make just it. make it yeah. vulnerable. Ink for blackboards. You can make uh, students think a little bit more. Yeah. No, but I say, I guess. Easy removable. Yeah, I think one of the main part by invisible ink is that it's not always invisible when you write it. Yeah. But it turns invisible. So maybe you can self self removing. Yeah. So it's self removing. Self. So it just stay there for maybe half an hour and then yeah. uh, you can just write the whole table that started the other end and then it'll just yeah. disappear. Yeah. So. So it's self removing inks from blackboards. Yeah. And then you should have different yeah. sort of. Cigarettes for children. So scare them. Det er vel måske en dårlig at skrive blog, for så kan de jo se, ja. de kan ikke se hvem det er. To teach them a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. And this could actually just be a, a, a generator run by two animal feces. Yeah. yeah. Like the excrements of house animals that if you were forced to if everybody were forced to put all the the cat litter and all their stuff in the same sort of containers and then they burned it. If you do it with a with a, with a with a dog, then you don't have to uh, walk around with the dog. Exactly. Then it's gonna go to walk around. Yeah, you walk, don't walk. walk the dog. Don't have to walk. Take a walk. <laughs> so it, it could be like an automatic. Maybe we just make a hamster wheel where the 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 mill is with a, a drilling handcraft so that you can exercise it even further. So yeah. that it will just if you do it really fast, it will just turn around. Yeah. yeah. So it could be an automatic pit wall. It could be for the cat. Can I require whatever? Oh yeah, if you live in apartments. Yeah. Nu vi taler om sådan noget. Det er så så god morgen, der man kan ikke gå ind. Ja. Det er fordi vi ser sådan nogle gamle kunstværker. 
Det var en kontakt, der viste mig en gang med en mand, der havde 94 år, en mand, der havde aflyst fem hundrede og udstået. Det var ikke, om jeg kan huske det. Nej, det var en kunst. Ja, de talte om sådan noget med, hvad er kunst og sådan noget, så var der vej. Det er ikke ham, der også med guldfisken? Jo, det var ham med samme med guldfisken. Nej, jeg ved ikke, om det var den samme mand, men der var noget med en guldfisk med en flinter og sådan noget. Ja, flinter. Hold kæft, men jeg synes, hundemælpen var den værste. Det var så også noget med den mand, den, hans, hans karriere, der sluttede også den dag, han lavede det nummer der. Okay, Fordi ja. det, det, det var noget med, at han fik 30 dødsrudsløret. Ja. Ja. ja, det er også for meget. Det kan man ikke gøre, altså. Så. Nej. Nej. Så vi tør det en tør at putte Maxi. Ja, ja. <laughs> That's really... I would, I would like to own a putte Maxi. Ja. Yeah. You haven't done that? No. no. Oh. I have never had one. Did you nice? Well, I want to start next to the purchase board for like 14 or 15 and roll around with it. Still a fantastic means of transportation. <laughs> it was a really dense thing, eh? Oh, Maxi, it was a really dense Altså, det er rigtig dansk, ikke? Jo, jo. Kører man for sådan noget gammelt lort? Ja, nede tror jeg, at det er fra 50 eller 60 til 30 km, ikke? Ja. Hvor mange børn har du? Fire. Fire? Fire, ja. Men altså, på Maxi'en, det er sådan en, hvor folk tænker, det er jo lige en meget fed ting, ikke? Det tænker man godt om, ikke? Det er jo en really, really cool idea. Det er bare et godt tag. Ja. Den der Velo Solex, det var også bare. Yes. Ja. Does anyone want to share a good idea? No? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, the bad idea is we transformed this as a poly drinking can. Yeah. Because it's, it's a bit gross bringing up the same can, but it's actually done a lot in third world countries and it spreads a lot of bacteria. So if you could uh, design a little bit of the, the can so you could bring from several different unique locations and ensure that none of the liquid would return into the can, it would be a really good idea because then you would prevent the spread of diseases. Yeah. It's actually a good idea, and it would be really good for the environment as well. Yeah. Anyone else? Have you had one uh, so? Yeah. We had uh, the cigarettes from children. We had cigarettes that uh, is uh, maybe says on the package that they, that they are for children, but they are so uh, strong and uh, taste really, really ugly, so that they will be scared away and never smoke. <laughs> So I, I hope the, the, we don't have time to hear all of your ideas, but I hope that you got the main point from this exercise. That for example, the one with the can, that this kind of idea you wouldn't have thought of if we were just trying to come up with good ideas. That when you, in this, when you make these bad ideas, it allows you to give you associations that's around the normal uh, thinking thought. So it will open a whole landscape of completely new ways of thinking of ideas. Could everyone feel that it's a different kind of way to come up with ideas or being creative? Or didn't it work for you? Everyone is nodding, so I take that as a yes. So the idea now that you've already done two exercises and you get a third one, and the idea is that you use this technique now to come up to solve the last uh, exercise. So now when you go out to the groups, when you get the task, try to think of bad ideas and change them into good ones. But it's of this, as with the other exercise, the idea is to generate as many ideas as possible. So don't uh, use all the time of coming up with the bad ideas, going through all this, then you will get very few ideas. Uh, but use the technique to force yourself to think uh, more creative or differently and without the inhibition. Everyone understand the task? And it's important because we want to show that there's a difference when you use this technique. So it's important that you use it. So try to solve it by getting bad ideas and making them good.
Okay, obviously don't turn over the sheets yet, please. Are we supposed to make an awful idea? Yeah, I think so. More than one. <coughs> this is the cup. This is a button. You fill it up. Is it supposed to be spill proof? Oh, this is spill proof. Create as many design as possible. It has to be one hand durable. One. Cannot have straw on no. So Mm. Cannot have a straw on a or a mouthpiece, this and then have a mouthpiece. Yeah. So it can't be like this one. Yeah, so you throw it away, right? Yeah. It's possible that you can drink up So one large container that is just open with a hand handle here. Yeah, no, it means like the cup like this, that you can throw it away after you use it. So it has to be the cup like this, but it can, so you drink and you throw it away, but it turns on your But table, it cannot have a mouthpiece. So it gives the coffee like this, but you can throw But it obviously away like it must be able to have some sort of opening, otherwise it would be impossible. Det kan vi finde på et dårligt idé. But I, I can't even keep, come up with any ideas that if, if it needs to be spill proof, <laughs> but not have You're a missing, remember? Yeah, but uh, yeah. it says cannot have a mouthpiece. Below yeah. is an example of the solution with a mouthpiece. Is that some sort of mind trick? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the fixation element in it. Yeah. Yeah. But, what's, but what's the definition of a mouthpiece? Yeah, it's stretchable, but uh, if it's taken to the mouth, anything that's in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't tell you more. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, okay. So, okay. we have some person with a mouth here, and then he's, he wants to hold it up in his hand. And then it slowly, slowly, that's, this is a very bad idea, it slowly drips into his mouth. Yeah. Like extremely slowly. I have another bad one if you have it <laughs> like a bottle and then you have like this ball in it and when you turn it up, it closes. That's actually already incorporated in, in some uh, English beers. Okay. But it's it's just you know with a smaller bowl so it gives you a smoother okay this one is so big so you can't get yeah, anything it out it. <laughs> this have an extremely slow dripping function down into the mouth that, i think that's a pretty bad idea yeah it's not a cup but it's a bad idea yes you could also have like like Again, whatever, a cup or like the whatever. Old times they had. Yeah. And then you have to, to get anything out, you have to, to pressure the stempel here. Mm -hmm. So this this one is actually blocked, so you have to push it to get something yeah. out of it. 
I have another bad one. Okay. Yeah, I I'll say one more thing. I mean, your guess is as good as ours, but here, obviously, it's just a rim. It wouldn't yeah, okay. be a specific map piece. Okay. Okay. So you operate it straight into the neck? The coffee stays in them. <laughs> then you carry it on with a big, a big uh, mid rod on your back, yeah. and then you. Yeah, unless you could evolve a little, that you just put it like a drop, and then with a needle into your arm, because you just need to have some fluid. Yeah, fluid. Maybe through the ear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> directly into the brain. <laughs> <laughs> you can also make the, the classic that you have a hat. Yeah, yeah. With the, with the canes. Necker, and then this goes straight up in your nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the classic. And, you would drown yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can do everything you want all the time because you have. It just makes it here. Yeah. Yeah. That's not technically a mouthpiece. Yeah. And then uh, again, you could have a, like a glass and then some voice electronic that would only open when you say drink or thirsty. Then. <laughs> so it could be huge generator driven. There's nothing. They, they, they don't mention anything about it if it if it's expensive or not. No, so exactly. It just in, in uses them in. Yeah. yeah. It says it's expensive. It says it's expensive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And disposable. Maybe it's just uh, small shot glasses with the very dispenser with two liters of coffee, and then you just pull your hand, then it will pull out, and then you can. Get a shot of the coffee. Uh, another thing we could do was like just make like a, a capsule <laughs> that would melt when you put it in your mouth. Yes, yeah, chew it. Yeah, chew it. Spit it out. Yeah. Or maybe it's just something that you could eat. Yeah. Something that tastes good. Uh, then it's not so hot anymore. So you just get like whatever can be in your mouth and then it will dissolve. It would be quite neat. Now we have you couldn't spit uh, it, you couldn't get to it before you put it into your mouth. Or chew it. Yeah. You could store it in the fridge. Obviously, this should obviously be the size of a cup. <laughs> Maybe you should just make some plastic that is just really close together. And then uh, in order to get some coffee you have to put your thumb down into a... Uh, and then uh, you can suck out the coffee. Can you use Lua? <laughs> yeah, precisely. It's so cool. If you just, you can just put it on, on, on this, and because of the back, it will always, if you put it over here, over this, it will always get the shape of the So what was that? Was it a cup? Oh, and the white one. It's a cup. Like this. Yeah. So you have to suction it out? Yeah, it's really close here, but you have to yeah. open it with your thumb. Yeah. Or just <coughs> just suction the sh so yeah. pressure. But then it has to be disposable, so it has to be cheap. You can do it like a McDonald's. That's basically a design. So take this one. What about a water balloon? Yeah, that's. Kind of yeah. for a oh, so maybe to make it well, it's right. not a balloon, but how would you close it and operate it with one hand? Maybe we, if you press it really hard, it yeah, well, I don't think you need to be able to close it. Sorry, <laughs> I don't think so. Too. You just it just can't just. Uh, 
a spirit probe. Yeah. That's so if you put, if you have like a water, like a yeah, it won't, it, it can't the fake pillows that sounds like you fart. Yeah. And then you have to squeeze it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's also better. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it sounds like a fart. <laughs> Every time you want to drink. <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah. And I guess when that opens, it really comes out fast. <laughs> Yeah. Should we try to uh, think uh, positive about some of these ideas? This is on the head of the strap. Just like a... Maybe you can even fit with a cycle helmet if you're yeah. on a bike. So you can bike and have a nice coffee yeah. down your, your tube. You know, at the beginning it's small, but when you put it on the the, the one that has already, all, already been invented. Yeah. So that's a little boring, but that's, that's, that's this one. Yeah. I'm not sure how to make it, but I think if you can have those kind of balls, which are made of... Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like you have some weight here, and when you turn it, then this one opens up, and the coffee, you can drink it from here. Mm -hmm. But that's a mouthpiece. No, that's not a, that's a rim. Huh. And then you have this one down here, and when it, when it, when the, when the cup turns, it opens up on the hinge here, and then you can drink and when you turn it again, it closes down. That's a good idea. And, and then, then it's really limited here as well, so you can't open very much, so you can't, even if it turns around, you can't really get a lot out. So, but it's already been in this so it's one solution for the spill free cup. Smart, smart pouring system. Yeah. Bunt the, bunt the and then, uh, so Maybe this one, if you just uh, press on the sides instead of using your tongue, so that when you press this, yeah. these two bars, yeah. plastic. Yeah. yeah, well, I think I would just make sort of a uh, like a salt, what's it called? Salt dispenser solution, where you have to turn it, turn the top, and then it's either closed or open. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I think what you kind of the same as you, if you incorporate it, it's a soft cup, and you have this. It's closed, and when the you press your on the like side, it yeah. opens yeah. up. The and when you press it, and then, then you still have the ring here, so it opens up to a plateau. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would work if the if the cup is soft. Yeah. Yeah. That would actually work. But now we're actually supposed to make turn these into good ideas, or are we supposed to make good ideas? I think we are in the stage of trying to make good ideas. Yeah, but I think that we're supposed to take the bad ideas and. Just like, just like before. I don't think it really matters as long yeah. as we get good ideas. I don't think yeah. the road to the good idea yeah. really is is the point. The process. But this would be nice because I think the good thing about this one is that you actually use gravity just yeah, but yeah. It's the same take it down. Is this a tube or a straw? Because it kind of a straw. Yeah, but it's not a tube or straw. This is this is just like a cup, normal mm -hmm. cup with a rim. Mm -hmm. So here you have a cup, but you make it soft, the cup is soft, and then you, then you make the closure function down in the cup, so you, you have a platform here where the fluid can, can be when you drink it. Maybe it's even uh, asymmetric. Yeah, it could be asymmetric as well. Yeah. So you can see where you have to press. Yeah, so, yeah that would be nice and have some... Oh yeah, that way. That's a, yeah. And then you press it and then you can check it and when you don't press it more... Mm -hmm. the yeah, that's a good idea. It actually turned out to be a good yeah. idea, I don't know what. <laughs> it's better than the salt dispenser Yeah. and the cup head. Yeah. Um, but, but if you don't place the cup on your top of your head, but you place it somewhere else... Yeah, but then it's a straw. Yeah, okay, then yeah. it's a straw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
and then there's a the scroll. <laughs> and I don't think this one <laughs> is intra, into the arm <laughs> that people would like to. <laughs> maybe it's a if you're totally run, new way of thinking. Yeah, maybe if you're running a marathon or something like that. Yeah. Or if you're a contador and forget to drink when you try to go to add force. Would have been good for him. Like this drink and then the yeah. spring would I I like those two ideas, but this one is the most like life idea actually, yeah. like real life. But then uh, basically he already uh, so basically yeah, oh, he's nearly uh, done with uh, his uh, penalty, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I think it will end uh, the August the fifth or something. Yeah. It's really funny. Yeah, maybe he can, maybe he can participate in the World Cup. Yeah, I don't know when it starts, but I think it's about. I think it's in August. Yeah. It's kind of like the I but, uh, then again, I don't really understand. It was like tiny, tiny bits that was measured and it couldn't be proved if he did it by eating a beef or not. Or not. Seems like a yeah, basically. Yeah, but yeah, maybe just make but it the problem was that he, he had too much doping or what it's in his blood. That's something that you yeah, used to uh, hide. Don't even have to doping. care about yeah. this thing, right? Yeah. But if if, like, if he was not able to to prove that it was uh, by a beef or something, which he had sure needed, then I think it's his own problem. Yeah. yeah. It shouldn't be. It has to be a really big shouldn't be. It should not be other problem that he, then he could say, "Oh, it was beer." No, it so should not be like that. that it, they should prove that it was not a beef. Yeah, you can hang some problem. here, or you can touch it by, yeah. by you know, is it flying on the? The problem was that he had too much this stuff in his blood, and I don't think. A beef or it doesn't make any difference because he's, he has still too much. But it was not very much. Yeah. The, the tolerance is zero. Yeah. yeah, it was not very much, but you have to have some kind of boundary or something. It just happened. That's nice. Yeah. It seems just like to me. It's really but what is really funny is that Jan Ulrich uh, get his, got his penalty for some weeks ago yeah. about this uh, uh, case which was in 2007 or something. Okay, yeah. you know, this, uh, this case with Basso and Ulrich and the case with, I don't know what, it was some kind of Spanish doctor or something. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was right. the Puerto or something. Mm -hmm. This, this, oh, whole, this whole uh, case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ulrich has, has got, got, got his penalty some weeks ago. About did he six lose? years ago, yeah. he, did he, he lost also yeah. his title. He, he, I don't know, but he's yeah, he lost his titles. Yeah, yeah. but he's not uh, he's not allowed to to, dr to drive any um, races yeah. in, in Germany anymore. Okay, but well, I don't think he was supposed to do that anyway. So. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So, so this, so this case that, so this thing that he got his penalty right now is so stupid. Yeah. But I don't think I don't understand. Uh, maybe I understand he can lose his titles six years ago, but I don't understand how they can appoint a new one because the number two and number three possible are doped as well. Yeah. This case with the uh, in 2007 where he's, this guy Pierre Osiu he won. Okay, there's yeah. one and a half minutes left, so if you could try find your favorite design and put one oh, yeah. spot next to it, please. I sort of drew up the asymmetrical version oh, here. Basically. Yeah. That one. Okay. The squeeze one. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Take that. Because this is like you can, you can just it's really it's easy. Actually, yeah. maybe we should it's easy to make it. Marketing, yeah. 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 It's got the potential, but yeah. so far, so far yeah. I haven't seen any cups. So. It would be good for the ones. Uh, yeah, it's very it's simple. You if if we were actually were allowed to make a mouthpiece, yeah. it would still be a nice way, yeah. like yeah, 7 yeah. Yeah. that you could squeeze them. Yeah. So, you knew, so you could be able to. 
make a squeezable yeah, mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah, and make a nice, no, not a squeezable mouthpiece, but incorporate this and then still have a mouthpiece. Oh, yeah. So you would be able to not have too much, you know, it, when it blocks, yeah. you have to turn it all the yeah. way around, you have sort of a nice flow. Yeah. But I guess you, you must know this, what do you call it? This mouthpiece where you just this bite in and then the, yeah. the flow comes out. Uh, from what? From what do you call it? This backpack, <laughs> water backpack. Oh yeah, yeah. Drinking system. Yeah. Then you have like a mouthpiece and then bite it and then it comes out. I don't remember the name of any system. Camelback. Camelback, yeah. So if you put this mouthpiece, you could put into a cup. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. you could uh, pressure it. I guess this would be better okay. if it's hot drinks. Stop, please. <coughs> Thank you. If you just fold your sheets up, leave them on the side of the table. We've got 15 minutes break and we'll start again at quarter past. Thank you.